whoa what's them today's video is titled my corona 3 update now if you new here what the fuck we do here is read listen watch and we block talk break that shit down and i'ma start off with apologizing for y'all not hearing from me because my motherfucking computer laid up there and broke down on some old technical virus type shit it had been doing weird shit for a minute y'all but i did find a way to get my motherfucking material out god damn it and i ain't gonna lie i just been sitting there lightweight fucking frustrated because you work for every fucking penny every fucking thing you have and all of these fucking material items that people love so much be crashing and breaking and this that and the motherfucking third so let's get directly to motherfucking business god damn it bbc is our goddamn propaganda pilot this evening as it reads coronavirus President Trump defends tweets against United States lockdowns. Now let's get to the next slide and go directly into this bullshit, you dig? President Donald Trump has defended tweets in which he appeared to endorse protests against stringent lockdown measures in several U.S. states. At his Friday briefing, he said some measures imposed by Minnesota, Michigan, and Virginia have been too tough. Earlier, he wrote in a series of tweets, liberate Minnesota, liberate Michigan, and then liberate Virginia. The curbs, which include stay-at-home orders, are needed to slow down the coronavirus but protest protesters say they are hurting citizens by limiting movement unreasonably and stifling economic activity now let's block talk break that shit down let's go to my highlighted box down there y'all it say but protesters say they are hurting citizens by limiting movement unreasonably and stifling economic activity. Let's go piece by piece because y'all know sometime I could digress as I get more and more amped up. But I don't need to be more amped up than I already am from what the fuck happened to my computer. But look, y'all, it said protesters say that they hurting citizens. Is it just me or did they say we had like 4,000 fucking debts and all of that bullshit? 4,000, 2,000, 3,000, 32 fucking thousand and all of this bullshit. You gonna die today, you gonna die tomorrow, and you gonna die the next day. Is that unreasonable to y'all? I thought that was reasonable people lives, but they say they stifling economic activity. Oh, they got to make money, bro. Fuck these debts. Like I told y'all, God damn it. And look at the top of that where it said, well, not the top, the uh third fucking paragraph or the third block. It said earlier, the president had wrote liberate Minnesota, liberate Michigan, and then liberate Virginia. It sounds like he's saying activate, activate, like he's activating sales god damn it how all of a sudden these fucking small ass rallies of dozens of people get so much fucking media coverage y'all so fucking much when black fucking lives are being taken from us unreasonably around this motherfucker and we could be in the thousands and hundreds and you know what they're gonna say rioters they're out there angry and this isn't the way to do it i, I understand what they're doing but this isn't this isn't the way to do it remember all of that bullshit with trey Ball, where that fucking woman beat that boy all on goddamn tv but remember when them little white boys was yelling at them indians all in their fucking face or native americans whoever the fuck the imposter ass is goddamn it and yeah i said it remember that bullshit did you see they uh parents beating them white boys spitting all in them indians face yelling at them but i fucking digress y'all let's continue to read goddamn it turn to the next page the three states the Republican president referred to in Friday's tweets are all led by Democratic governors. Mr. Trump may be seeking to encourage his political base to protest against Democrats, the BBC's Anthony Zercher says. People have been protesting in the United States of Michigan against the excessive quarantine. Now let's block talk break that's bullshit down goddamn pure bullshit like i'm getting mad as a motherfucker y'all they trying to act like oh it's a democrat republican type thing because he ain't say shit about the republican governors y'all y'all know damn right over here on btn we don't believe in democrats nor fucking republicans this is a two-party dictatorship around this motherfucker goddamn it so y'all could keep all of that 
Republican Democrat shit to your motherfucking self. And look, they say he might be seeking to encourage his political base to protest against Democrats around this bitch. Now think about it, y'all. These people acted first, didn't they? Didn't they protest first and he simply gave them the knives up like, yeah, I'm with you. Do that bullshit. Get these goddamn Democrats. So really, he not encouraging them. He giving them the thumbs up. He like what they doing. They uh, Americans expressing their freedom of fucking speech, ain't they? But guess what, y'all? Look what they call them. Protesters, goddamn it. Because of the excessive quarantine. Now think about this, y'all. When it come to blacks and they slaying our fucking boys in the streets around this bitch. What they call us? Agitators, huh? Rioters, you dig? And they put everything up to some type of rationale. Well, he shouldn't have had on a hoodie. He shouldn't have been out at night. He shouldn't have smoked a blunt when he was two years old or some bullshit. He shouldn't have looked at that person so hard. He shouldn't have frightened that officer who was armed and he wasn't. Remember all the rational rationalizing that they do when you fucking die? When you being murdered, and I mean men and women around this motherfucker, in case I just said men. I mean men and women. Look at them, the excessive quarantine though around this bitch. Man, ooh, I'm pissed off. Get to the next slide. Demonstrations calling on authorities to end the shutdown have occurred in Michigan, Ohio, North Carolina, Minnesota, Utah, Virginia, and Kentucky. But Mr. Trump did not mention Ohio and Utah, which both have Republican governors. His comments came shortly after, after the U.S. saw its highest daily toll from the coronavirus, recording 4,591 deaths in 20 24 fucking hours on Thursday. That rise could be because Johns Hopkins University, which recalls the data, began to include deaths with a COVID-19 probable cause around this bitch. The United States has the highest number of cases and deaths worldwide, with nearly 700,000 confirmed infections and more than 36,000 deaths. Ain't that a motherfucking shame? More demonstrations against the lockdown measures are planned, including Wisconsin, Oregon, Maryland, Idaho, and Texas. The protests have varied in size, ranging from a few fucking dozen people in Virginia to thousands in Michigan. Now let's block talk, break that shit down. Y'all know what demonstrations mean? Let's go to the definition of demonstrations. That way, Cause you gotta know what these motherfuckers talking about. That way we can know how to take the word demonstration, y'all. Go to that. Demonstration, the action or process of showing the existence or truth of something by giving proof or evidence. Here you go the example. It is not capable of mathematical demonstration. Similar proof substantiation all right so did they give us proof y'all while they was out there protesting you did did they say here's the numbers and shit that you uh sitting up there being unreasonable and shit this these thirty six thousand deaths ain't shit they didn't provide any proof around here did y'all see proof when you saw these demonstrations all over cnn fox and msnbc did y'all see any proof no i did not so let's get to the second definition since we're not buying the first one it say a practice practical exhibition or explanation of how something works or is performed a microwave cooking demonstration exhibition presentation demo display illustration now y'all y'all know what the fuck we study around this bitch god damn it and in case anybody don't know where the fuck they at you are witnessing a rubble network around this motherfucker god damn it we study propaganda and y'all know what a demonstration is a demo or expo is it's like when edward bernays paid them few fucking uh models to demonstrate freedom by smoking cigarettes and walking down uh what 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 was it in New York Times Square, Fifth Avenue, one of them uh, places and shit? He paid the media to be there and 
for them to demonstrate freedom. And what happened after that, y'all? The fucking sales of cigarettes spiked around this bitch, goddammit. And they still spiking, y'all. So what that tell you? That was a demonstration paid by some fucking group in America. They little government or whoever the fuck paid them. They got so many rogue agencies in America to where it's a fucking shame, goddammit. But that's neither here nor there. Somebody paid these motherfuckers to demonstrate that. And you know other states ain't nothing but motherfucking copycats so wisconsin and texas and idaho and all of that old bullshit they bought the uh latch on too they gonna demonstrate their two round this motherfucker y'all get what we do around this bitch bro they fucking busted they can't get away with this bullshit no more god damn it but let's not digress let's get back to that whack ass article you did now, as we continue to break this shit down, notice in that third block how they try to hit you on the sympathetic side of the game. Talking about his comments came shortly after the United States saw its highest daily death toll from the coronavirus, recording 4,591 deaths, y'all, in 24 fucking hours. Do y'all really believe that? Y'all really believe these fucking numbers, y'all? Y'all really don't understand that these people have control of these numbers. They got, uh, they could raise them high as they want and they could put them as low as they want. It's like the motherfucking, what they used to call it after 9 11, a goddamn fear fucking uh, chart they had. You should be in extreme fear. You should be a little bit scared today. Oh, you should be scared as a motherfucker today. It's the same routine with these people, but you're still running out and buying your masks and shit, huh? You really believe 4,591 people died? And look at the name of this shit. Look at the wording, y'all. Highest daily debt toll. Who the fuck uses the word daily debt toll? Y'all got these fucking people frightened in their goddamn houses looking at a daily debt toll. Bro, I'm glad I don't live in that fucking reality. And what I don't see here is motherfuckers saying, you a crazy conspiracy theorist to these fucking protesters like they try to do black people like me who said I don't believe in this motherfucking shit and I'm not going to be frightened by it. You know what they said? You crazy, you ignorant, you disinformation and all of this. But did y'all hear anything about this information when it come to these crazy motherfuckers who said, oh, go do this shit. Let's go protest in the streets. Let's not do none of that old social distancing shit that the uh, media is pushing down people's throat, y'all. But I fucking digress. Let's continue because you ain't going to take my word for it. You know what the fuck we do over here. You're witnessing a rebel network. Look what it said, y'all. Johns Hopkins laid up there and said, let's include deaths with a COVID-19 probable cause, y'all. It's that block, it's the box within that uh, one, two, three, four. In the fourth block, y'all, it said include, they including deaths with a COVID-19 probable cause. So if you sneezed a fucking couple times after you got shot, man, that nigga probably had COVID. Count them. Quick as a motherfucker, goddammit. Oh, he was in a car crash. All of his brains and shit is spilled on the side. But he was coughing a little bit right before that. Oh, that was that COVID shit. Count him. Count him. And y'all fucking running around here believing this shit. Talking about the world has changed. Boy, how is the world going to look after this? Boy, the world going to look the same. It's going to look the same after they look after swine flu. The same it looked after measles. Fucking H1N1, Zika, and all the rest of that bullshit. Ebola, all the other fucking fear tactics on this planet. But y'all going to get it one fucking day. Or I'm going fuck, to die trying to give it to you. God damn, I'll get bad. But let's read the third highlighted box god damn it the united states has the highest number of cases y'all seven hundred thousand confirmed infections and thirty six thousand deaths y'all really believe thirty six thousand americans died y'all Y'all really think that? Y'all don't know hustling when you fucking see it? See, I'm from the fucking projects. I know hustling. You know what happened, y'all? When that shit dropped, black people was out there like high case. Man, we don't believe that bullshit. I ain't wearing no motherfucking mask. What the fuck is a uh, uh, social distancing? We ain't doing none of that. Nigga, we black. We been struggling. Y'all know how the fuck we is. And then look what they did. Hold on. The black people starting to affect these white people because they starting to look at it like, well, you know what, Bill? These people are right, goddammit. You know? 
I don't, come on, the government and all that. And then look what they did to attack us. So many black people dying because diabetes and shit be fucking with it, you know, because they got to uh, insult the shit out of it. Because black people got diabetes and they be drinking that Kool-Aid and all of that bullshit. And they got high blood pressure on the black hand side and all of that old bullshit. See how they had to get at us? They had to affect every aspect of your life, fucking with the liquor store and shit. Because at first, white black people was like, man, we still got this shit up that we need at that corner store over there, goddammit, and shit like that. These people know how to operate, boy. They went to them corner stores. They told I was, oh, you gonna shut down. You gotta stop serving as many uh, rolls of toilet paper like this. You gotta only sell two. They gotta affect every aspect of life, goddammit. But guess what? What else was they saying about black people? But our black people people ignorant sitting up there they don't believe nothing these people out here telling the truth this damn virus gonna kill us y'all diabetes and all of that shit and look how them people talking about they own ain't no kind of campaign against these people saying look at these crazy ass motherfucking rednecks not using social distancing did y'all hear that yet look at these motherfuckers spreading disinformation and protesting did y'all hear that shit in this article did you see it on tv god damn it you can email me if you do see that bullshit, did you see anything disparaging around this motherfucker? But you was on my motherfucking videos com comment. Oh, man, you're you're wrong for this. Don't tell those people to go out and all of that. But what, what y'all here is being said to these motherfuckers? But we digressing. Let's get to the third box because y'all understand. We going in today. Y'all understand I'm completely pissed off around this bitch. And we about to expose the shit out this shit. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. The protests have varied in size, y'all, ranging from a few dozen motherfuckers in Virginia, no, a few dozen motherfuckers in Virginia, yeah, to thousands of motherfuckers in Michigan. Y'all understand that? Y'all understand that? So think about it. When our fucking boys was dying and shit, goddammit, we couldn't get this kind of media coverage, boy. You know what they were showing, remember? They were showing a black woman beating up a fucking son on national TV. They replayed it on every goddamn morning show, every night show, and every other motherfucking show in between that bullshit. But guess what, y'all? Y'all remember that incident with the little white boys who was yelling at the so-called Native Americans and shit? It, all up in their face did you see a white mother or a white father reprimand little billy around that motherfucker and if you're not up on game go look through my archives because i've been around for a long motherfucking time and i don't give a fuck what nobody think about my language how i deliver shit or nothing you don't like it you can get the fuck we don't believe in cursed words because frogs will not fall from the motherfucking sky you understand me people but let's continue, y'all. We couldn't get no coverage, y'all. They was rationalizing everything. Well, Trey Bond shouldn't have had the hoodie. Well, the Skittles was in a black bag. Well, he didn't have the orange tip. Tamir Rice didn't have the orange tip on the gun. God damn it, remember? Oh, well, uh, uh, what, what the fuck? Both them jeans shouldn't have been sitting in this fucking living room eating popcorn. He shouldn't have held that big black dark remote up around this motherfucker. He should have had, uh, painted his door a different color if he didn't want the police to come in and fucking shoot him. Rationalizing everything, god damn it. But we couldn't get no media coverage while you were singing, you shall overcome. These people been out there straight telling governors, look, y'all motherfuckers don't got the right to do shit. They been out there rude as fuck out there with guns and everything. But they up there bending like a motherfucker. Well, these are citizens and this and that. But did you see any of us out there with an M16? Them people would have beat the sleeves out of one of us. If not murdered us in cold fucking blood. Put your ass in a black bag some fucking well, goddammit. it. You think we could have sat at the capital of, of Wisconsin or Ohio or something with M16s like these rednecks doing? Hell to the fuck no, y'all. But let's continue reading around this bitch. Minnesota governor Tim Walz responded to the president's tweet saying he called the White House to ask what they think we could have done differently. 
but they didn't hear shit back. The president unveiled a three-step plan that mirrors exactly what we trying to do, Mr. Waltz or whatever told fucking reporters. And that's a picture of Cuomo, lame ass right there, talking about the states need better resources. So you know what the fuck he's saying. Look, give us some more money, goddammit. Give us some more money, some more uh grants and, you know, shit like that, and we'll open back up. We got you, goddamn. We need more shit. Get the fuck out of here. Let's continue. What does federal guidance say? The president's apparent support for the protest comes a day after his administration unveiled new guidance for reopening the state's economies. That guidance recommends three phases of slowly reopening businesses and social life with each phase lasting a minimum of 14 days. It includes some recommendations across all three phases, including good personal hygiene and employers developing policies to ensure social distancing testing and contact tracing dr Fawcett from the white house coronavirus task force cautioned that even as restrictions were eased it's not game over he warned that the virus might rebound around this bitch and there could be setbacks along the way now let's block talk break that bullshit down y'all they they keep on talking about the coincidence or some goddamn it it's not a coincidence if the fucking man if his if he supported the goddamn protesters a day after he unveiled his plan that simply mean that they agree he ready to open his shit back up for his partners they leading them you know people ready to open back up their little big businesses and finish paying people minimum of fucking wages definitely not maximum around this bitch they don't give a fuck about a bailout or none of that that's what that is he agree with the fucking people stop trying to get us to think democrat republican y'all that's that bait shit i'll be talking about they trying to make you think oh it's democrat versus republican oh he just support them because he got his own plan and all that bullshit man get the fuck out of here with that look talking about slowly reopening businesses and social life with a phase of 14 days but this the kicker y'all talking about hygiene and shit and developing policies to ensure social distancing y'all y'all know how fucking small these uh uh the areas of working is in these fucking companies and goddamn mcdonald's they got what about four people in the back making the burger talking about making the burger and taking the money for making the burger to get in your motherfucking ass how the fuck they gonna be six feet apart nah they gotta be right on each side of that motherfucking desk to fry them fries and all of that bullshit and hand them to the next motherfucker get the fuck out of here and at walmart you gotta stack a pallet you gotta be right next to the motherfucker who delivering that shit on the truck goddamn you gotta talk to them dumbass customers man what the fuck business is they talking about what business is they talking about y'all this is pure bullshit they just re um they just getting you ready you know to get back to living you know but they gotta lot not let you feel like oh you just skated off it was another bullshit thing you know another phase you know all this two shell pass they gotta keep you scared y'all and proof of that bullshit is look what they said at the bottom y'all restrictions were eased but it's not game over hold up nigga it ain't game over though don't just be thinking this shit over because the fucking virus might rebound. How do you know some shit like that? How do you know some shit like that? You said the sunlight kill it. You said basic treatments of the common cold kill a motherfucker. But you think the virus might rebound around this bitch and get strong out you. See y'all? Got to have them fucking people scared. But let's continue as you witness a fucking rebel network, goddammit. On Friday morning, Donald Trump fired off a series of tweets calling for the liberation of three states with Democratic governors as though they were enemy-controlled territory. The message seems apparent. The governor of one, Michigan's Gretchen Whitmer, recently was the target of mass protests at the state capitol against her sweeping lockdown orders. A mixed crowd of conservatives, white nationalists, and anti-government militias waved confederate and pro-trump flags and signs accusing whitmer of dictatorial overreach another of the states virginia had its own capital protest early in the year from gun rights activists the president's social media facilitated the president's social media suggests his goal to reward or encourage such shows of 
force from his political base. As opinion polls indicate, Trump approval ratings is sagging after a boost during the early weeks of the outbreak. Trump followed those incendiary, incendiary tweets by criticizing New York's Andrew Cuomo, another Democrat, for mishandling the pandemic and spending too much time complaining. Now, let's block talk break that shit down. Y'all see how they put the liberation right there in quotation? I keep feeling like that liberation word is an activation word, you know, like activation. But anyway, let's continue. Y'all see who was out there, huh? The people who I told y'all they ain't have a disparaging word for yet, you did. The people who was out there with M16s and shit, you did. Guess who it was? A mixed crowd of conservatives, which means them neo-Nazis and shit, white nationalists, <laughs> enough said, anti-government militias. Oh, y'all for y'all just let anti-government militias walk around with M16s and shit, and they blatantly anti-government. But as soon as a black group of people walking around there, everybody fucking frightened, and we don't even be having guns and shit. God damn it, we be out there trying to talk to them. And I ain't going to say we because I ain't trying to talk to no motherfucking body. You understand me? But when we was out there, they found a way to arrest the Black Panthers who was standing out there with a shotgun and shit. You ain't never see that shit happen again. But the nationalists, they could be at the motherfucking capital, y'all, with guns and Confederate flags. Y'all y'all know the Confederates was fucking traitors? These people worship fucking traitors to the nation. Ain't that a bitch? Confederate flags them dudes was fucking traitors you idiots the union won get the fuck over it the fucking racist of the fucking north won we don't give a fuck about them either and they be at the capital y'all but let's continue look they won't make it like it's a political thing in that last little part you know opinion polls saying that that nigga trump is out here slipping so he trying to get all his racist people together so them numbers could go back up see see Man, we fucking no game around here, y'all. And look, he said he got that Kuamo and shit talking about this motherfucker spending too much time complaining. And y'all know he is. Every fucking day, Kuamo got an update. Here's an update on Corona. We still ain't find a cure. Update on Corona. You gonna die tomorrow. You gonna die the next day. 4,000 die today. 4,000 gonna die tomorrow. Y'all understand me? You fucking understand me? Let's continue, though, because we don't just stop, you dig? We break every fucking thing now. No stone unturned around this bitch. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Keep going. Just a day after Trump reportedly told governors in a conference call they would call the shots on when to begin easing restrictions, it appears the president wants to up the pressure and the political risk for the Democrats by other means at his disposal. Trump benefited in the past from finely tuned sense of sentiments and resentments of his supporters. Friday morning can be an indication that he's positioning himself to again stand in a miss, God damn it. So understand this, y'all. They trying to say, oh, by Trump saying, look, you governors can uh decide when to open up your states, you did. That give the uh, Democrats to have room to sit up there and say, no, we take this virus so serious that we're locking most shit down. And when them Republican governors like y'all been seeing open shit up uh, slowly, they numbers going to get up because the people going to be like, man, we want to live again. We want to do this again. And as they see people on beaches and having fun and shit, they're going to be like, the Republican governors are right around this bitch. So he like, look, instead of me, the president demanding that all of you motherfuckers just open up businesses. You did. I'm gonna let y'all decide. That's why they like. Oh, it look like he positioned him, positioning himself. You did to get at the Democrats by other means of his disposal. See, see, y'all see this shit. We see through this bullshit at BTN. And if you ain't subscribed by now, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Goddamn, because it's enough. They hide my videos. You dig, and I know my numbers better. God damn it, I know my shit better. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. Talking about, oh, he he be finely tuned with the sentiments and resentments. You know, y'all know what the fuck resentment mean. You know, when the people say they taking our jobs and we got this black president and that now. I don't know why they were so scared that black president was one of them. We'll show you how these fools getting played too, god damn it. What did that black president do for any black president? I mean black person around this bitch, y'all. 
God damn it, but let's continue. Why are people protesting? Protesters say stringent restrictions on movement and business are an overreach to the outbreak. Organizers of Liberate Minnesota protests wrote on Facebook, it is not the governor's place to restrict free movement of Minnesota citizens. President Trump has been very clear that we must get America back to work very quickly or the cure to this terrible disease may be the worst option. The group added that the state's economy would be dealt a debt blow if restrictions continue. The event now has over 600 attendees marked on Facebook and some 2,800 more users interested in the event. Now let's block talk break this shit down, y'all. The protesters said them restrictions on movement and business and shit is an overreaction, y'all. So them 36,000 motherfucking deaths, that's an overreaction, y'all. They overreacting by shutting down businesses and shit. Y'all see what this group of uh white nationalists said, god damn it? This fucking group of anti-government people and all of that bullshit, anti-government establishments and shit. This group of fucking misfits, y'all. Y'all see what the fuck they said? And have you heard anything disparaging said about them? They got them like they some type of professors or something. Like they a group of economists. Economists, goddammit. Look what it said. Organizers of Liberate Minnesota. Organizers. Who the fuck they is? Name names, motherfucker. Because I looked them up. You could barely find these motherfuckers. Nothing but rich motherfuckers who own top fucking uh, elite businesses around this bitch, y'all. This ain't nothing but the government around this bitch. And look what Trump said, man. We got to get back to work and shit, man. We got to get back to work, you dig? So y'all know who behind this shit. Y'all know who behind this shit. It said the group added that the state's economy will be dealt a debt blow. They going to be dealt a debt blow. This is coming from white nationalists and shit. Like, this is not coming from economists, y'all. This not coming from them. And y'all think that black people, we can go up there and say that it's not the governor's place to restrict free movement around this bitch? You think we could go up there and say, you know what? It's not the fucking governor's place to write bills that uh target our community for fucking arrest rates and shit, you dig? You know what? It ain't the governor's place to change the curriculum from slaves to indentured servants around this bitch. You know what they'll do to us? They'll tear gas the shit out your black ass and these people is blatant they blatantly anti-government establishments and shit and look at the bullshit at the bottom where they basically promoting the shit y'all because bbc they acting like they liberals like this a democratic article and shit but don't this seem like they promoting the shit the event now has 600 attendees marked on facebook and some 2800 more interested in the shit Y'all, that mean nothing. They have nothing solid right there. And they already told us the range of the shit, supposedly, because they give us the numbers they want to. Talking about from a few dozen, a few dozen to a couple thousand and shit. But I don't hear 600 people mock this shit and say, yeah, I might go and shit like that. And 2,800 say, I'm interested, but I don't even know. And let's zoom in on these white nationalists who they ain't got. Look, look who it is, y'all. Them people paid to stand out there. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at them. Who, look at that motherfucking statue. Probably some racist motherfucker writing some shit right now in his grave about hating niggas. And look who it is out there. Let's see if we can read that sign. Liberty creates safety. Open up Michigan. Liberty creates safety. So selling shit, y'all. Boosting the economy creates safety. Who the fuck are these idiots? It's white nationalists in them. You did look. Number pure fucking idiots, you did. But when it's black people, man, them black people is fucking, y'all some conspiracy theorists. Y'all stupid. Y'all just be ready to say the people playing with y'all stupid ass. How you feel now? Do you see these people talking to they people like that? Do you see that? Fuck no. They up there supporting them, rationalizing it and everything. Saying the, well, the group, the group said that this might be a dead blow. The group. 
you know? They say these fucking white nationalists around this motherfucker, these anti-government fucking groups, they ain't saying that, y'all. He's saying a group, you know, these cool, you know, guys who just, they just love America. That's what the fuck they saying around this bitch. But let's continue because I know only real riders is still listening to this shit by now, goddammit. Let's, let's continue. Earlier this week in Michigan, Thousands of protesting workers blocked roads demanding that the state reopen after Governor Whitmer extended her stay-at-home restrictions. The governor is also facing federal lawsuits against her orders shuttering non-essential businesses and limiting travel. However, public health experts and some state governors, including Republican governors, have stressed the importance of social distancing. On Friday, Friday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced he was establishing a strike force to safely and strategically reopen America's second largest state. The group of medical, public, and private sector leaders will look into what services and activities may resume under existing guidelines. The governor will offer a reopening plan based on the findings on the 27th of April. Now, let's block talk, break that shit down. Remember the verbiage I told y'all about? How they don't have nothing disparaging to say about these fucking dudes. Y'all see what they told them in that highlighted box at the top? It said, protesting workers blocked roads. You know, if there was a black person, they would have said, agitators block roads. Rioters block roads. Thugs blocked roads, goddammit. But not them, not these racist, dirtbag, anti government, white nationalist, dirtbag motherfuckers. They call them protesting workers. So nice they all blocking off roads that lead to hospitals and clinics and shit, though. Blocking fucking roads and demanding. God damn it, they ain't singing, we shall sing and bullshit. They not doing that. They demanding that the state open back up, god damn it. Them people ain't playing. They ain't out here singing and shit. That's why I don't fuck with all of that old singing, marching and all of that. Ain't no, fuck all of that. We don't demonstrate shit. We do what the fuck we gotta do because we black and that's what we been goddamn doing, motherfucker. But let's continue breaking this shit down. They said governors, including the uh, Republican ones, is stressing the importance of social distancing. So really what they doing in this whole fucking article is saying, look, shit about to get back to the same thing, but just let us ease off the shit by y'all still acting like you're scared and practicing social distancing and we'll let the shit brush over god damn it that's what the fuck is about to happen let's continue breaking this shit down and i'm gonna give a fucking analysis at the end or whatever the fuck i want to say let's continue in addition mr abbott said retail outlets that are able to deliver goods to customers cars homes or other locations with minimal contact may begin operating on the 24th of april in florida the mayor of jacksonville said he will reopen beaches with limited hours starting friday mayor lenny curry said residents must still practice social distancing but could use beaches for exercise and recreation around this bitch. Parks in the city will also be open, though gatherings of 50 or more is banned. And then they see other developments in China, Nigeria, and all that. I don't give a fuck about none of that, goddammit. Don't give a fuck about none of it. Now let's block talk, break this shit down around this bitch, y'all. They letting y'all know just what the fuck I said, that they about to start easing shit to back to normal. Look what they just told you. You can start delivering your shit again. God damn it. We about to reopen a beach. But y'all got to practice that social distancing, though, man. We going to let shit get back to normal. But just just be like you still scared. You know, we going to let it blow by. But we need you to practice social distancing. Wear the little mask, you know, the little trend and shit, you know. That way the, we could get these bailouts popping. We're going to give you a couple thousand. You know, shit going to be cool. Y'all understand that? How you going to reopen a beach but practice motherfucking social distancing? Oh, you got to swim six feet away from me, dog. You know, don't come in this uh fucking, don't come on the beach with a runny nose. And sh- don't swim with a runny nose, dog. Uh, what the fuck? 
You know how people, when you're swimming, don't you open your mouth at some point and all kind of bullshit? Man, what in the hell, y'all? And then look, Lenny Curry said residents must still practice social distancing, but the beach is good for exercise and recreation. Look, he won't bring up exercise. Like, you know, man, y'all need the beach for your exercise and shit. You know, that keep you healthy and all of that. Come on. I know a kind when I fucking see one, y'all. I know a kind when I see one. Then the park's going to be open. I mean, the park's going to be opening. Matter of fact, y'all, who who get paid off the beach opening in the park? Hmm. Sound like the state to me, motherfucker. Sound like the goddamn state. Now, let, let's get a little view of the type of people who be out there at these little rallies and shit, y'all. Let's check out this little video I recorded. You know what? I couldn't find a stupid ass video, y'all. I know I recorded it, but whatever, because we ain't got time to be bullshitting. Y'all know I'm pissed off about the shit that happened with my motherfucking computer. And I'm pissed off that these people think that we don't know a fucking kind when we see one. I've been told y'all from jump how I felt that this was pure bullshit. I studied this shit. We've been on this planet too fucking long to not recognize patterns, y'all. To not fucking recognize patterns. But you know what people did to me? Oh, you spreading disinformation and shit like that. You better watch yourself blocking. You a crazy conspiracy theorist. But did you hear the word conspiracy one time while these people was talking about these white nationalist protesters who they call fucking working protesters, you know? Did you hear anything bad about them? Conspiracy, crazy or nothing. They was asking why. Why are these people protesting, y'all? What's going on? They asking why and shit to motherfuckers who is anti-fucking government. But when your black ass up there singing and shit, just trying to relate to their heart and every fucking thing, just like old coon as Martin Luther King them said, you want to relate to the passion in the heart, what they be telling your black ass. Where the tear gas at? Where the billy club at? Where the Rockwallers at? But them, no. Man, why y'all protesting, good Americans? Confederate flag waving whites? Why y'all protesting, man? What's, what? what well, what's the bottom of this? What's wrong? What's the root of the problem? But not your black ass while you're fucking churn dying, while they patrolling the shit out of our neighborhood, while they changing curriculums, changing history and every fucking thing you did. But me, I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist, huh? I want to be YouTube famous, huh? I won't be a star, huh? It ain't about this information, huh? Y'all understand that the reason that you barely hear from me is because I'm not doing a fucking story if I ain't got no passion on it, if it don't concern black people. If I ain't got the passion to do it, I ain't talking about it. That's why you don't see me on every Cardi B uh, news alert, every hip-hop news alert. Do you see me doing that? But when they step out of line, when they step into my arena and affect my people, goddammit, that's when you hear from me and you hear from me with motherfucking passion god damn it this btm we gonna thrive no matter what computer break god damn it we gonna get another one i don't know how long it's gonna take but that fire always gonna come from this channel you dig once again i'm fucking sorry for the little delay and once again y'all holler at me